Hello and welcome to my channel. Russian state-sponsored threat actor Midnight Blizzard used a basic password spray attack to breach Microsoft corporate email accounts, including those used by executives. Stick around for the details. I am Bill Osolinsky, a certified information systems security professional with 30 years of experience. Microsoft's corporate systems were compromised back in late November by the same Russian nation state actor behind the 2020 SolarWinds Orion software supply chain cyber attack known to Microsoft threat researchers as Midnight Blizzard, aka Nobelium. The breach wasn't detected until January 12th. A preliminary analysis by the Microsoft Security Research Center showed the nation state advanced persistent threat actor used a simple password spray attack to access a test account leading to the compromise of a very small percentage of Microsoft corporate email accounts, according to a company blog post from January 19th. Breached email accounts, including those belonging to senior leadership, as well as members of the cybersecurity and legal teams, among others, Microsoft said, apparently, the Nobelium attacker was poking around for information Microsoft had on their operation. In its statement, Microsoft vowed a cybersecurity overhaul of its legacy systems, regardless of the impact on operations. So what can we learn from this attack? The successful cyber attack against Microsoft should remind cybersecurity teams not to overlook sensitive information contained in less critical systems like email and file sharing. The fact that the Russian nation state actor was able to maintain persistent in Microsoft systems for so long also shows a lack of attention to cloud logging. The Nobelium APT has harried Microsoft and its services before. Last summer, the group launched Teams phishing attacks against government and industrial organizations using compromised Microsoft 365 tenants. That's all for this presentation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.